Hi guys, so here's a quick review of the optical thermometers. I get two of them, uh, which are kind of a prosumer or maybe even professional graded uh, devices. They're both coming from a company called Trotec. I think it's the Australian company, not sure. This one is uh, a model TP7. This one is a model BP21. I'm just gonna quickly go through um, how they feel and look, and I'm gonna show the functionality of one of them. Uh, this one is more advanced, uh, but the, the displays and the features are pretty much the same on them. So let's do it. Uh, let's start with the, uh, yeah, with the feel and touch. As you can see, uh, they both are a bit similar. One of them is a bit larger than the other one, or taller, so to say. Uh, yeah. The body are like shaped also in a similar way, but the, the BP21 is a bit simpler version and it's a bit uh, actually more lightweight as well and a bit smaller. And they both have battery compartments here and here. Uh, yeah, both have serial numbers um, and some information on the sides. They have different distance, uh, like spot distances, uh, but different dimensions or focus points as well. Uh, the, the, the huge difference between these two devices is that this, this one, the TP7, goes up to 1000 degrees Celsius, so you can measure quite high temperatures with it. This one goes up to 800. So this one is a bit, uh, yeah, it can go up uh, as, as, as high as this one. Otherwise, they're very identical. I think the, the user interface is pretty much the same. Uh, this one is a bit more accurate as well than this one. The update rate is a bit uh, different as well. But let's go into the user interface and uh, try to review those uh, features they have. First of all, you could uh, turn uh, the laser on and off. You see now the laser is off on this one. But I press the button and then it's, uh, it's on. Let me see on this one. Yeah. This one has a two point laser as well. And I can turn it off, I can turn it on. The ones I saw on, uh, on YouTube, they had like multi points. So there were like multiple uh, dots, laser dots. This is not my case. It's also the European version. Maybe it's a bit uh, different from the, uh, like uh, the rest of the world. <laughs> I don't know. Mm, but basically, this is the laser uh, on and off button. Then there's a mode button and uh, the lights. You turn them on and off. And then these these also serve as a, like uh, buttons to change the parameters. And when you click, when you go to the mode, there are quite a lot of things you can do with it. First, you can change the emissivity of the surface you're measuring. Uh, usually, it's 0.95 for most of the uh, things we measure, unless you have to be very precise. Uh, you change that. Then there's a lock feature. The lock means when you turn it on, uh, I can actually do it now. Uh, then, yeah. Then you start measuring it and then it will not uh, shut down. It will be in this continuous scanning mode uh, because as you see, this one has turn already turned off, but when, you, when I click the trigger, it will turn on and it will immediately start uh, scanning. But if I let it go, it will just turn off and then it saves the battery. It's a really good feature, very practical, very handy. Uh, I mean, I have this battery for years and years in them. Um, yeah, but this one is still on and it will just, you know, go and, and you can scan with it. Uh, once you, you, you click the trigger, it will uh, actually turn the lock off. So that's also quite nice. You don't have to go into the mode, into the menu, change it uh, all the way. So this is the high and low uh, things that you set on it. Now it's on, and the next time I click mode, it goes into the temperature, because it, uh, that is set for max temperature. Now I set it to 30 uh, degrees Celsius. <laughs> Let me go in the menu again. Here we go, it's 30 degrees Celsius, I can change it. Um, and if, if I will not reach uh, that maximum temperature, it will just continue working as a normal uh, uh, thermometer. But when I reach 30 degrees, it will give me a signal. Let me show you how it works. So now it's uh, 22 degrees, 22.8. That's a surface of the, of the table. 
But when I reach over there, here, I'm pointing out to the keyboard of my uh, of my computer. So it's uh, 33 degrees, and it also shows me the the actual uh, measure which was there. 33.1, you see? So it's very good, very, very easy. If you are looking for something, you spotted the place which is really hot and it will give you a signal. So you'll take a look at it. You'll, it will record the temperature as well. And if you're in a scanning mode, that's super convenient because you might, uh, you know, explore the larger surface. Uh, well, the same actually goes for the low temperature. Now the low is on. And if I click next time, then the mode button, then I will set it up uh, which temperature I actually want to be uh, as a low and when I, I would like to get the alert. And uh, right now it's uh, zero degrees Celsius. So if I go like that and then we go to this nice Lego ice cube mold, you'll see the reading. Yeah, and that's pretty much all I have on, on my version of the TP7. Um, the, the user interface is pretty much the same on this one. You get into the mode, you change the emissivity. Uh, you can, here you actually can configure whether you want to have it in Fahrenheit or Celsius. I don't have it in the more advanced version. Uh, I can set up the max. I can uh, turn on or off the lock. Uh, I can turn on uh, high or low. And this is 200 degrees here. The low is off here, but I can turn it on uh, and it could be zero degrees again. Yeah, and that's it. That's uh, we, we've got all the way around for the, to the menu and got back to the emissivity. So let's check it now. I do not have anything super hot here. Yeah, you can hear the sound. That's how it is. But that's uh, that's this one. And uh, I mean, they both work fine. I would trust more this one this is seems to be this one seems to be more reliable I actually use my uh, FLIR thermal camera much more often than these guys but the problem with that camera is that it goes up to like 300 degrees or something these guys go up to a thousand and with that range it's uh, yeah sometimes it's much better if you're heating something up you have to know the temperature more or less and then these guys are good or you have to have the thermal couple um, and connect it to your multimeter and, and do that. But this is this is handier. So that's it, guys. A quick uh, quick review of the of the two uh, thermometers I use at home quite often. Uh, yeah, I hope it helps you. And uh, oh yeah, about the price. In Sweden, they cost about five hundred kronos between five and six hundred kronos for the. BP21, yeah, I think it's 50, 60 bucks. For the TP7, you have to pay twice that amount. It's about 1,000 kronos, uh, so it's about 100 USD um, right now. So, yeah, if I would choose one, I mean, for home use, I don't know, I, would, I trust this one a bit more uh, than this one, but they both are good, uh, and they definitely are more precise than the, uh, the other ones, and they don't cost more than the other ones. So I like them. Uh, hope it helps. Hit that like uh, button and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. If you would like to see more of the equipment and stuff review that I do quite often. Thank you and goodbye.